Hello everyone, tonight on Fast Track, we'll take a look back at our country's history-making inauguration, give you an update on Purdue's latest renovation plans, and join our sports correspondents for the wrestling team's latest national ranking. All this and much more coming up on this edition of Fast Track. To start us off, we have Rebecca Chalone in the studio with the 2008 Campus Wrap-Up. 2008 was a historical year for Purdue University. The entire campus was buzzing with talk of student Olympians, racial controversies, and influential presidential candidates. Laura Hoffman recaps this year's biggest events right here at Purdue. In August, the Summer Olympics brought Purdue athletics to the forefront. Freshman diver David Bodaya traveled to Beijing to compete in the men's 10-meter platform. Although Bodaya didn't win a medal, his name will go down in Purdue's history books. In early November, one local restaurant made headlines, but it wasn't for their classic menu. An incident occurred at Triple X Family Restaurant that involved a group of African-American students in the West Lafayette Police Department. The group of students said they felt the incident was racially motivated and an internal investigation was launched. Only one officer was suspended while the other was cleared. Also November was a day that will be remembered by all. The presidential election was one of the most historical days on campus. Barack Obama became the first African American president elected into office. Students and faculty of every race will be watching to see what the next four years bring. Are you curious to know how your intellect ranks up against people from other small cities? Well, according to a magazine survey, the answer just may surprise you. Here's the story with more information. The city of West Lafayette has recently been given the title of the sixth smartest small city in the nation. West Lafayette is the top city on the list that is not a part of the East Coast. This honor was given to the city by Forbes magazine. The magazine's survey included over 2,500 regions, with each region containing around 20,000 to 65,000 residents. This survey included those with degrees over the age of 25. According to Forbes, 47% of West Lafayette's population hold advanced degrees, while 30% have bachelor degrees, and the rest have associate degrees. Purdue University's scientific studies have been one of the main factors for West Lafayette receiving this title. The ranking has helped West Lafayette become a more favorable place to live and hopefully will attract more people to live here in the future. I'm Stephen George reporting for Fast Track. It's been a long time coming but plans have finally been made to start renovating Purdue's recreational sports center. After hearing the concerns of students, Purdue is ready to move forward with what promises to be an exciting new facility. Here's Phil Wrighthouse with the story. With many of its critical systems failing, years of student complaints and over 15,000 square feet of unused space, Purdue's RSC is due for some serious renovations. Some say the facility is too outdated for a Big Ten university, while others say it's too small for the amount of students enrolled. Regardless of the complaint, the need for improvement to Purdue's recreational facility has not gone unnoticed. Plans for renovating the RSC have been developed and are currently waiting for approval from the legislature to receive bonds for the facility. Once approved, renovations can begin as early as December 2009 with hopes of completing by the first day of class in 2012. Of course, a project this grand is going to be quite expensive. Recreation centers are not on the list of projects that can be funded by the state and so the only way to fund this would be through uh, student fees uh, and, and there will also be a component that will involve uh, getting gifts and donations. Although fees are helping to pay for renovations, students will not be charged until the renovations are nearly completed. Students that will have graduated before the project is complete will not have to pay the student fees. Pending approval, plans for the RSC hold promises of exciting new features for Purdue students and staff. Uh, three of the really unique components that we're going to be having is we will be adding a climbing wall and a bouldering wall. Uh, we will be adding a multi-purpose aquatic space. We will be having a multi-purpose gym that will have a synthetic turf field on it so people can wear their cleats. If plans are approved in March, you'll be able to check out a detailed renovation report online. And now, here's Fast Track's weather team with a local report. Good day everyone. We're going to start off by taking a look at our weather highlight for the local weather. Warmer weekend ahead, definitely, from what the temperatures that we've been seeing this past week, maybe closer to normal, maybe even above normal than what we've been seeing. 
And the next question, are we going to be seeing any relief from the you know, several inches of snow that we saw this week, maybe even a foot for Indianapolis? Are we going to be seeing any relief from that in the upcoming week? We'll be, look, we'll be checking into that later in the seven day. Taking a look at our almanac, normal high this time of year, 32, normal low, 15. Record high, 65, set back in 2002. Taking a look at Friday, low pressure system moves over our heads in the mid, mid layer of the atmosphere. That brought through a cold front, brought us flurries Thursday into Friday, but a high pressure bringing in behind it, that'll stick around for Saturday as well. This is, yeah, the high pressure system continues to stick around, but Sunday, things start to look a little more like we're gonna be start seeing some precipitation from Sunday into Monday from this cold front moving through the area. Taking a look at our seven day, we definitely see these temperatures start to rise through the weekend. Monday into Tuesday looks like our best chance for precipitation. And as we head towards the end of next week, we definitely should see a warm up coming through the end of next week. With tuition costs rising, it's important to know that you are getting your money's worth. Princeton Review recently released its 2009 list of the 100 best value colleges and our very own Purdue University made the list. Over 650 colleges, both public and private, were surveyed for the list. The review pulled students and administrators over 30 criteria, both academic and financial. The survey looks for more than just cost of tuition. Princeton Review noted that the strong admissions with high incoming GPAs and test scores, as well as the university retaining a 14 to 1 ratio of students to faculty, even with the undergraduate population being well above 30,000. The review also cited Purdue's reputation equaling that of the world's best schools, as well as Big Ten athletic programs and high amounts of school spirit. Lists like these help you know that your tuition dollars are truly well spent. After the break, we'll take a look at the dangerous wind chill that hit Purdue last week and a heroic Purdue alumnus. With speed, strength, and intuition, some Purdue University students get around with flips, jumps, vaults, leaps, rolls, and many more acrobatic feats. The Free Running Club is for acrobatic enthusiasts who wish to hone their skills, accomplish daring feats, and take the road less traveled. Free running is about getting from one point to another with the shortest amount of distance and time as possible. If you're looking for something more than your average, everyday way of getting around, then free running may be just the life for you. 